Okay, so I typically hold the needle like this when I'm going in. One thing to really watch out for is you don't wanna have your thumb on the plunger as you're going in, because as you're going in, you're pushing medication in as you're pushing it through the skin. So I usually hold it like this, and this also makes it easier to aspirate, and aspirate means to pull back on the plunger. The purpose of that is to make sure that you're not getting blood in the needle or air, because if you're getting air, then you've gone through. If you see blood, then you need to pull out and go again. Um, but the thing to look for when you're aspirating is you want to feel resistance on the plunger because if the plunger pulls back against you after you've aspirated, then that means you're in the right area. Um, Show them what not to do, how not to hold the syringe. And then... This is not a good way to hold the syringe. <laughs> so that's why I like to hold it this way because then I can use my back two fingers to aspirate and make sure that I'm not pushing on the plunger as I'm going in and the other thing is after you've aspirated and you've made sure that you're in the right area then you can just take these back fingers and push the the medication in that way okay and then just kind of rub it in like that